to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Thursday, April 13th of 2023. Judge Napoleon Esteves Lavandier was appointed yesterday as judge of the special instruction of the Supreme Court of Justice to ensure control of the investigation carried out by the public ministry against Deputy Sergio Moya, A.K. Gori, mentioned in the Calamar case. While young Dominican doctors continue to seek to specialize in basic branches such as pediatrics and gynecology, there are shortages of different specialists in many provinces. The country will vaccinate children between the ages of 7 and 15 years old, as well as adults, engage in agricultural and construction work to immunize them against diphtheria, tetanus, and whooping cough. The Technical Commission for the Restructuring of the Educational System of the National Police and 13 Dominican universities signed an agreement yesterday to implement academic programs aimed at training law enforcement officers. The former president of the Central Electoral Board, Roberto Rosario, affirmed that this body does not have the power to purge the candidates for elective positions presented by the political parties for the next elections, as the Archbishop of Santo Domingo proposed. The National Public Defense Office revealed that close to 70% of prison inmates live in overcrowding and that the majority of inmates with serious health problems are dining prisons and that most of them sleep in the floor. The Regional Center for Sustainable Economic Strategies considers it necessary to go to a comprehensive reform that simplifies all the titles of the tax code, including the modification of the income tax advance onto its total elimination. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com. For Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.